Hi everyone, it's Stephanie. I hope you're doing okay during the hurricane. We're right about in the middle of it and so far so good here in North Durham. Um, I'm not gonna be showing you my face. I'm just gonna record audio though. I'm gonna, I'm gonna claim the hurricane, blame it on the hurricane. <clears throat> what we're gonna do today is we're gonna talk about how to find articles for your lit review. Um, we're going to review what we went over last month in orientation, seems like forever ago. Um, and we're going to translate from your proposal topic to search terms. I'm going to show you how to do that with a couple of different searches topics. Um, we're going to arrange your terms in a Venn diagram and then go from that to an EBSCO search. And I want you to have a little bit of practice doing this with your topics before we meet. Um, and as a reminder, you can find EBSCO here. I'll put some links in Sakai as well. And hopefully you've already bookmarked this page. As a reminder, you'll be meeting with me sometime next week. You've either already signed up for an appointment with me or you will be doing that very soon, but that's part of what you need to do next week. We'll be using Zoom, which is what I'm using now. It's super easy. <clears throat> but if you need some um, reassurance, there's a little video um, here at YouTube, and it's also embedded on the course page that I made for your class. The one thing I would like you to actually do before we meet is to send me a link in EBSCO um, to your best search in EBSCO, because that way I'll know that you've done this and I'll know um, what kinds of things I might want to work on with you individually. So um, we're gonna start by um, sort of breaking down a topic into a Venn diagram and then how to make that search even better. So I'm using Meg's topic and Meg, it's totally fine if you've changed your topic. I, we're just gonna use this for, for the purpose of, um, of, of an example. Um, so Meg's topic was journalists use of social media and its effects on perceptions of objectivity. So that's the original search terms, and those go into a Venn diagram kind of like this. Journalists, social media use, perceptions of objectivity. Hopefully we'd all pretty much agree on that. Um, the only problem is when you search for these in EBSCO, you get no results. So um, that's no good. We have to figure out a better way to do that. So we're going to enhance the search terms. And I came up with journalist or reporter and objective or bias. And I'm going to give you a, a couple seconds to think about, to remember what the asterisk does in this case. So journalist or journalism, <clears throat> objective or objectivity or objectively, bias or biases, right? So that's sort of expanding out from just journalists. Um, and then with social media, it's, they're not exactly the same thing, obviously. Social media, Twitter, Facebook, Snapchat, Instagram, they're not the same thing. But for our purposes, they're similar enough. And so we're going to use those sort of synonymously, and that's what we're going to put into the search. And this search gets about 450 results. And it translates to the EBSCO search in that each of the search uh, each of the circles or little petals here, each of the petals turns into a search row. So social media or Twitter or Facebook or Snapchat or Instagram and journalist or reporter and objective or bias. And this is how it actually looks in the search. And just as a reminder, here's the URL to get to EBSCO for yourself. What I'd also like to, you to do, and you could either do this before or after the Venn diagrams, but I want you to come up with um, your search terms. So this is for your topic. These are related words for your topic. And I also want you to think about who has similar issues, who cares about this, um, because that can sometimes lead you to additional search terms or additional places to look. 
And so I'll use another example for that. And this is Anne's topic. Again, Anne, it's totally fine if you've changed your search, um, but corporate involvement in social issues. So that's the topic. And the related words are corporate, but company, brand, it's not synonymous with corporate, but for this purpose, it could be. Um, social issues, obviously, but then social responsibility. And in fact, there's a whole body of literature on corporate social responsibility. So that would come right up with these search terms where it wouldn't if you were just doing corporate involvement in social issues, even though that's exactly what corporate social responsibility is. And then who has similar issues? So in this case, clearly Nike does, right? Because they just had the ad, the Colin Kaepernick ad. And I think that's really, um, as I understand Anne's topic, it's certainly related to Anne's topic and it should be something that you'd be looking at. Walmart, also Starbucks, right? Lots of different companies. Um, so you wanna look for corporate, but you also wanna look at some specific companies. So hopefully this gives you some ideas about how to fill out that search worksheet and then translate from this into a Venn diagram. So that's what I'd like you to do. Um, and so sort of the, the short and sweet is search, save, and share before we meet. So search in EBSCO, save articles that you find useful, Make sure that you're logged into EBSCO first because um, they won't save much longer than your search session. So make sure that you're logged into EBSCO before you save your articles. Email me the URL for your best search. And so the way to get to that is in the search results page, you wanna click on the share button and then go down here and you can copy and paste that persistently. It's really long, it looks like this. It's totally fine, you can just copy and paste that whole URL and send it to me. There's my email address. As a review, um, write your proposal topics, related words, and entities that have uh, similar issues, put them into a Venn diagram, search in EBSCO, and then send me a link to your search results. You can email me or you can chat me. I'll be online um, on and off over the weekend if you, if you see this before Sunday or Monday. Um, and then uh, I will send you an email about um, the URL to get to the Zoom session with me sometime next week. So if you feel like you've had enough uh, of watching uh, PowerPoint and listening to me talk, you can end now. I am gonna go over a couple more things in the video. Um, just little extra tips that might be helpful. So citing in EBSCO, just as a reminder, over on the right-hand side, you have the cite option. You also have the permalink option, um, which will get you a persistent URL. And this is what the site looks like when you do that. Uh, I said this earlier, but I wanna make sure that if you're gonna add anything to your folder here to save it for later, you wanna make sure that you've signed in because otherwise you'll be very sad. Um, and just uh, another sort of tip, we, I talked about this, I think briefly in orientation, um, but one of the things you're gonna need to think about is how to manage and format your articles because you are gonna be identifying a lot of articles and you may want to organize them in folders by topic. You can do this in EBSCO. You can format them in APA citation style in EBSCO, um, but there's something else. Uh, it's very time consuming. And there's also a product called Zotero, which is open source, which lets you quickly save things into your folder and reformat your articles into hundreds of different citation styles. Um, and if you're interested in learning about Zotero, we are offering a workshop. Um, this is in person next Friday, the 21st in Carroll. Um, you're welcome to come to that, but I wanted to also let you know that if you're interested in this, you can email me or you can mention it when we meet um, or I'll post it to Sakai. I know Dr. Camello is, is really, um, she's a big Zotero user uh, and I know it would make her happy if you learned about it. It's completely optional, but if you are interested, we can either do a Zoom session with you 
uh, or with a, with a bunch of you, or we can do them one-on-one. -on -one. Um, my grad student, Julie, is gonna be teaching the class, and she would be happy to meet with you individually in Zoom and help you uh, learn how to use Zotero. So again, this is what I would like you to do before we meet next week. And if you have any questions, please let me know. Good luck.